What's up, guys? It's Riotium here, and today we are back in Skyrim. That's right, you guys, and oh snap, is gonna be an awesome freaking day. But first, if you guys enjoy what you're about to see, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for more daily videos. And if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter. Link is down there in the description. So, guys, welcome, welcome back, and happy Saturday, everybody. So, today, today we're taking a look at this. So what exactly are we looking at today, guys? Well, today we're taking a look at Hala, the player home in Whiterun. So this is a small shack opposite of Haunting Brew Meadery with tons of storage for unique items and most workstations. So if you guys know, I, I love the big homes, but I'm such a fan of smaller homes. They, they, give, they pack so much more punch uh, and stuff like that. But here's the rest of the description of the mod i highly recommend you read the rest in the event of me missing something or it not clash or it with it clashing with your load order there may be stuff in that load order that's not in my load order so you need to understand all of that good stuff but and this is the little home so we are right here right next to white run let's see white run is like right there and we've got haunting brumetery right next door chill furrow farm battleborn farm and right down the road from riverwood now the home is initially locked as you can see the front door is initially locked so the only way to find the key is if you head on over to helgen towards the front gate so here at helgen i am on the i am facing east out towards uh Falkreath and stuff like that but if you come down towards the north entrance you can see that gate is open you're looking for this dead body right here and inside of it has the shack key that's what you want so right here, you're looking at the mountains, you can see, uh, what is that, Bleak Falls Barrow? You can see Bleak Falls Barrow, you come straight through there, you find the first house right there, and the dead body is right there. So you're good to go. So now, now that we have the key, we can witness everything that the home has to offer. Okay, so back at Halla, let's go ahead and take this time to look at the outside of the home. So first thing that I notice is it's an adorable little shack. I love it so much. It's got so much character to it, plus it's got great real estate. Look at this. You got the main thoroughfare right outside your house. You can walk straight up to Whiterun, do some trading in Dragon's Reach and in the markets beneath Dragon's Reach. You've also got the metery right across the way, so if you want to get shit-faced, you can do that. And it's just very cool. It's a very neat little spot. There's plenty of stuff to see. And plus, you got this beautiful backdrop of the mountains, not to mention the tundra of Whiterun. What a beautiful what what else could you ask for, you know? It's just so damn pretty. So, let's go ahead and check out the actual exterior of the home. So, as you guys can see, towards the front of the home, you have your own little farm area. You got some fertile soil for you to start planting and growing stuff. You got some cabbages, imp stool, uh, gourds, you got some tomatoes, some carrots, all sorts of that stuff. You also have your own apiary, which is always nice to see. Now let's see, what do you got on the outside back around the back of the house? Doesn't look like anything. But man, look at that view. Look at that view. Just freaking beautiful. Now, let's see, it looks like we got ourselves an outhouse. What do you know? Look at that. And you can sit inside of your outhouse and take a deuce in the, in the morning. Just sit here and watch the butterflies and the torch bugs and all that good stuff. Just freaking sweet. Always nice to have. And I just saw my teeth. That's fine. Now let's see. Let's go ahead and see what else we have outside here. Looks like outside we have our grindstone, our workbench, which that's cool. Look at that. It's the top of the workbench, but it's on a nice wooden table with a cool wood, uh, like a wood fire uh, or a uh, wood pile beneath it. Got storage for leathers and linens, a tanning rack, pelts and hides, as well as various storage for your ingots. You have an anvil and a smelter. Very, very cool. Raw materials and bones and remains. Okay, so now let's go ahead and check out the inside, shall we? Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is so cozy. Oh my god, this is awesome. Holy lighting. Don't shoot that. It's going to fall on your head and set you on fire. Okay, so first thing I'm noticing when you walk into the room is the custom music. The custom music just makes this place seem so much cooler. I love that so much. When mod authors put in the custom music um, of people who work very hard to create music like this, it makes me so much happier. It just adds so much to the house. So I love the static decor. You know, you know how I am, guys. I love static decor. I love it when the storage boxes are the items themselves. It's just, it's a nice way to spruce up a home. You know, you got your little cutlery right there. You got plates, bowls, linens. 
all sorts of that stuff. And it's a beautiful aesthetic, you know, you've got the, the harsh stone, but the what's very nice about it is the green kind of mossy natural tones and the greens and stuff like that brings it out and makes it feel a lot more rustic. It's very pretty. Not to mention it's a very open, uh, open, uh, open concept floor plan, which is nice. There's not a whole lot inhibiting the space, you know, you can entertain right here and you've got the walkway up into the kitchen area slash enchanting area as well as alchemy area. That's very pretty. Very cool. Got a potion basket, soul gem, soul gem chest. Very pretty. Now hang on, disenchanting font. That's pretty cool. That's a very custom looking thing too. Holy cow, that's cool. Got some drawers. Unique armors. Very, very cool. Lots of storage up at the front of the house. This is a neat little area right here. I like these little chairs. They're, they're so custom too. And they're made out of the woods of the, uh, the surrounding area. Very cool. Now, I love this little kitchen area in here, you know? As soon as you walk into the home, you have a nice little dinner table set for two. You can do all your cooking, all your baking, all of that stuff. And you can store your own weapons and stuff like that. you got a weapons barrel. Very pretty. Now, let's move through the home a little bit. I love how the, the green grass and the moss kind of keeps the same themes throughout the entire house. Armor chest right there. There is a trap door right there, so we need to check that out. That looks like a sword straight from the Witcher. And I like this little bed, you know? The bed seems squattier than normal, you know? The king-size bed or the, uh, the master bed that you normally see, uh, it looks to be bigger in other houses, but I think it would be... I think it'd be enough for me. I think it'd be enough for me. <laughs> now, let's see. Let's go ahead and check out the open cellar. Okay, so it seems down here is armor mannequins, weapon plaques, and storage for your stuff. Isn't that neat? Right, Amethyst Claws? Okay, so here is all of your special storage. And I like the little, like, racks that are right there. That's kind of cool. So this is all your unique storage. Ariel's bow, Zephyr. <laughs> that just reminded me of the uh, the little web series that um, the Battlefield friend guys did, the Duralis and Associates, the Zephyr Blade. <laughs> now let's see, what do we have through here? Elder Scrolls storage. Very, very pretty. I love these little custom textures, too. Cyrodiilic urn, ruby paragons. Got yourself a little jewelry spot. Very, very cool. I love these little spots so much. Not to mention the use of antlers right there. Very cool. Like a very cool touch. I've never seen that before. So overall, it is a beautiful little home, guys. Not to mention it's free. All you gotta do is venture back to uh, to um, Helgen to get your stuff. Now let's see. I almost forgot about this up here. What do we got? Look at this. It's a little reading nook. This is beautiful. The ambient light is just perfect. Got a nice little comfy chair. Sit down, read a, read a good book. Have a glass of wine. A little bit of Cyrodiilic brandy. Very, very pretty. So, guys, I can't suggest this house more than I've already done. It is a beautiful little home. And right here are all the credits for Hala which is just awesome. The home is laid out perfectly. There's so much stuff to it. It adds so much character and it packs a punch, you know? I love everything about this little home. I would use this and uh, that is definitely saying something. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's little mod showcase. And if you did, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for more daily videos. And if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys in the next video.